Yeah, there you go. Don't be, don't be all different now, right? <laughs> Trying to switch directions. When they can sardines, they can them perfectly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right? All right, so feet together, legs straight. Arms are going to be right next to your side. Palms are going to actually be facing up. This looks like yoga right now. But what we're going to do, guys, is I want you to start squeezing your heels together. So first thing you're going to do is squeeze your heels together. And automatically, what we start seeing is that people want to start pointing their toes. Now, can you squeeze your big toes together? So heels and big toes together. Now, let's go ahead and point our toes. Now, go ahead and lock your knees out for me. Squeeze your quads really tight. Now, with your shoulders and head on the ground, go ahead and pull your legs up in a straight leg position and point your toes to the sky. As you do that, you may notice that your legs want to bend. If your legs are bending, straighten them out. Point your toes. If you start thinking about this, your belly button just compressed into your spine and your lower back right now is glued to the ground. There is no room for stuff to happen there. We see some shaking going on. You can relax a little bit. There we go. Good. Now, with your arms straight, go ahead and reach up for your toes. Get your head and shoulders off the ground. Now you'll feel maximum compression. What we're seeing here is we're seeing rib cage getting really close to our hips. Maintain that position. Don't allow it to deviate. Slowly, let's start bringing our legs down towards the ground. So just start dropping them very slow. As soon as there's any kind of deviation from rib cage to hips, that distance has to be maintained. We have to stop. Wherever you feel deviation, stop. Good. Point your toes, hold that position. Now bring your arms behind your ears slowly. Start bringing them behind your ears and start shoving your shoulders up in the ears. Wherever you start feeling deviation in your lower back, stop. Good, everyone hold that position now. We're just gonna hang there. <laughs> Easy. Don't grab your hands, keep your fingers together. You look like a gymnast. Close your wrist up a little bit. There we go. And rest. Good. So that is the beginning of the position. That's your flexed global body position. And right now, everyone was shaking like a leaf, really squeezing tight. But the reason you were so tight is because A, I was coaching you guys and you guys want to do a good job. And B, is because you were exaggerating reality. Okay? So that was 110% of your effort. And you kind of remember where you got to, right? You got to maybe 45 degrees with the legs and maybe 60 with the arms, something like that. So what I want you guys to try now is see if you guys on your own can get back into that position. I'm going to guide you a little bit into it, but I want you to try to be at 60% of tension, but don't allow the position to deviate. Are you guys with me on that? So we're going to get into the same position, but you're going to be a little bit more relaxed. You're going to let yourself... Go into the position, but without squeezing so tight and shaking like a leaf and just kind of comfortably getting in there. Comfortably is a little weird to say, but <laughs> get in there however you can, okay? You guys ready? So legs up, arms up, shoulders and head off the ground. Start opening up slowly. Make sure that that lower back is on the ground. Everything is tight. We're pointing our toes and hold that position there. You don't have to be at 110% right now. Shoulders are off the ground still. There you go. We want to really maintain that position. Shoulders off the ground a little bit more for me. That's where you want to be. And just hold. Point your toes. That's a little better. You should be able to breathe in this position. Try to relax there. Hold that position, but try to relax a little bit enough so you can breathe. Shoulders active. Arms straight. Good. And come on out. Wasn't that better? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the same thing, but we're going to add movement to the system. <clears throat> Pardon my voice, guys. We're going to go into that hollow body position, and we're going to try to do the following. I'm going to be in my hollow, and I want to try to rock. Can I rock back and forth? What does that look like? Can I maintain this position without deviating? That's the goal. Legs are nice and straight there, pointing your toes. Just get 30 of those puppies. All right, raise your hand if you felt like as soon as you started rocking, you lost, lost the position. Raise your hand. 
Okay, there we go. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. Raise your hand if as you started rocking, you completely lost track of what your legs were supposed to look like and what they were supposed to feel like. Did you lose tension in the legs? Keep your hand up. I want to see hands up. Who felt like when they started rocking, you started feeling this little bonking on the ground? Yeah, a little bit. There you go. Keep your hands up. Good. Who felt like when you started rocking, you had to close the angle a little bit more? Raise your hand up. Good. So everyone has a lot of room in the tank to keep working. The standard is to be able to do 100 hollow body rocks or a three-minute rock. What we do is we set the ceiling high, and then we have always room, right? Eventually, 100 rocks becomes a resting station. Cool? Now, how do we take this? You had a little problem where you were feeling that little bonking kind of thing going on. Let's go ahead and get you here in the middle. Okay. Let's go ahead and give her a little room here, guys. Go ahead and show us a couple, just go for 10. So she starts rocking, everything's looked pretty good. As she gets tired, can you try to replicate what you had when you were getting tired? Maybe you can't even do that right now. Oh, no. Look, she just became a superstar overnight. That's actually good, but now we're starting to see. Okay, you guys see now it's starting to hit. Hit, she loses a little bit of tension there. Do you guys see in the back how the back is kind of hitting the ground and it's no longer rocking? It doesn't look very smooth. Can you guys see the transition? It's very minor now. Hey, good job. She just got better at 30 seconds. Wait a second, we're going to keep you here. So, most of you guys are superstars already, but how do we take someone that's never done this before, how do we scale this? Very simple. Go ahead and lie down on your back. Arms up, legs straight, in your hollow body position. What we do is we bend both legs. Bending both legs, all it does, it takes load off of the position, right? Arms can come down, shoulders off the ground, and now start rocking. That's where we want to start. Now, can you keep one leg bent, extend one leg? Good. Now, can you extend both legs? Now, can you, yeah, now it gets harder. Can you bring your arms over your head? There you go. Bend one leg in. That's where you want to be. Can you bend the other leg in? Good. Can you alternate legs? Good. That's right. So this is the kind of stuff that we want to start working on. And this is freestyle. You can pick whatever you want, but this is what's going to get your athletes exposed to different ways of maintaining that neutrality, right? Finding the position. And the reason why we want to rock is because if we can't maintain the position and movement here where it's completely stripped off of load, multiple joints working, we're not doing our good job, right? And this is not going to get 100% good right away, but if we're 60% there where we just understand the concept, we're ready to move on. That doesn't mean we won't address it again because this should be addressed on each warm-up and all the time when we finish. Starting and finish, we always start with this little movement. And it doesn't have to be this way, it can be performed in other ways. Handstand, push-ups, all kinds of stuff. Cool?